Hey guys, Thermal here. If you didn't know, I've started Twitch streaming, so I will be streaming for the next four hours of this video going live. And if you want to come have a chat or ask any questions or watch some gameplay, just come along to that and I'll, um, yeah, I'll be able to chat to you. This video is going to be all about why I think you should record yourself. So I've started playing a Holy Pally Alt for the last two weeks now. And, um, you know, one of the best ways to learn is to watch yourself make lots of mistakes. And essentially that's what I'm doing here. I've popped my Divine Shield early when my partner Karmid. I uh, sacked him when I didn't have to. So I've already, you know, doubled up on two defensive cooldowns. I overextended to chase the rogue instead of healing my teammate. I got sapped behind very far away from my teammate and then he's in a smoke bomb I'm also very slowed and I didn't pop freedom I then try to heal him but I get blinded into a poly so I trinketed the blind but then insta poly um, and that's enough to close out the game because of all those mistakes there um, but you know this game isn't over and even though I made all those mistakes um, I'm gonna still give it a go I've still got my burst so I played a bit of a weird build here I've gone Venthyr instead of Kyrian, which is Kyrian's the meta, and I've just gone on a very aggressive double Hammer of Wrath um, build, because while I stand in this Ashen Hallow, I can do double damage Hammer of Wrath. That's how you saw I did the 8.2k Hammer of Wrath there. Um, yeah, so I get the Rogue down, and it's just a 1v1. And the Mage is probably thinking, I'm a Mage, look how many shields I've got. This Pally hasn't got me at all, but... Um, I've had a fair bit of experience in 1v1s and I'm going to give it a good crack. Yes, yeah, I've made a bit of a mistake there trying to draw shadows. I should have faked that one uh, when he blinked away. I've gone and used Blinding Light and he's ice blocked. He wasn't in any danger, so that was a mistake by that mage then. He didn't need to ice block. Um, but probably just a sign of overconfidence thinking that he's got this game in the bag that as a pally I just don't have the damage to get through his shields. Um, but I'm sort of watching, I'm like, oh, I've got 10 seconds on my wings, that's my next opportunity for a kill. Let's just play it sort of safe and try to get those shields down, essentially. Um, so I Divine Favor, he tries to silence that, but he can't because it's Divine Favor. So that's something this mage needs to learn. I try not to overextend um, when he's putting down that Frozen Orb, and I know that he can spell steal off my freedom, so I retreat a little bit. He pushes into me, so this is where I pop my wings. I steal off of his intellect buff, um, just so he doesn't have that extra damage, and then I chase him down here. Um, I try another Door of Shadows. Really, I should have just faked that one. He literally blinked on top of me, so. Um, but at this point, you know, I pop another Divine Favor, do a big heal. He can't interrupt that one, um, and then just finish him off here. I don't think he was expecting that. Uh, had it been a fire mage, may, it may have been a different story, but you know, 1600 games, so it's nothing to crash hot, but um, I'm just learning the holy pally, and this is really a great way for you to learn, is to look at all the mistakes you're making, and then in the next games, try to address those issues. Um, so yeah, most of you guys are watching me play my Hunter content, and I do make a lot less mistakes on my Hunter. I still make mistakes plenty of times, but... Um, yeah, I'm making heaps of mistakes on my pally, so there's heaps of improvement um, playing a new class. So for anyone who's interested in recording themselves, I use OBS Studio. Most people use this because it's free software. It's fairly easy to set up, so I'll put a link in the description below uh, how to get to that. And essentially, you just choose Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending on your um, operating system, and then click Download Installer. After you've downloaded it, you should have um, this pop-up once it's installed. So this is OBS and the first thing you want to do is add in a source. So you want it to be input with a display capture and this is going to capture your screen. So you may have a few monitors or just one. Um, I've got two so if I set it to display capture two it's going to capture the other device that I've got set up. Um, right now I'm using Streamlabs OBS, just another variation of OBS recording. This one's a bit more for streaming and this one's probably a bit more better for recording videos. So I'll just put it as display one for this video. 
and um, the next thing you want to do well depending on whether you want to record your webcam or not so if you do want to record a webcam you can also add in a video capture device and then just click the webcam that you're going to be using um, the audio so just make sure you've got it set up to whatever you're using so for me I'm using my headset right now that's where all the audio is coming in so I just set that as the headset and the same with the mic and you can see the mics working because the levels as I'm talking are changing uh, so then you want to go into settings and this is going to change depending on your computer whether it's newer older like the processing power the RAM capacity all that sort of stuff so um, the general settings are fairly straightforward don't really need to change much in there um, you know there are a few things you can you can use if you want to but I just leave it as the default for that um, streaming you can set up with Twitch if you want but uh, if you are interested in streaming then OBS Streamlabs um, is pretty good to use for that just a bit more functionality really what you want to be doing is going to this output tab this is what you're going to be using OBS Studio for the most is recording setting up a re recording pathway so this is where all your files are going to be sent and I just send mine to the E drive in a folder called the OBS videos you can set the recording quality depending on your computer your computer's capabilities um, so you've got a choice between high quality medium file size indistinguishable quality and large file size and lossless quality but um, tremendously large file size I find that indistinguishable quality is fine in terms of recording um, so just have a play around with that if you're getting a bit of lag or whatever or it's using too much RAM while you're gaming then you might want to turn that down um, I use mp4 format just found it's quite versatile in all different uses and in terms of audio so yeah 48 kilohertz stereo um, yeah just whatever desktop audio and mic you're using you can input those in and the rest is all yeah fairly straightforward if you do want to do a, a push to talk you can add that in as well so the resolution I've set to 1920 by 1080 with you know that aspect ratio 16 to 9 is probably most common um, if you are finding that yeah, once again, your computer can't handle this, then you might want to lower the resolution down to improve on FPS and um, yeah, just get better, better uh, smoothness across your video recordings. Uh, hotkeys, so I just use one. First, when I stream, it's just numlock minus to stop my stream. Uh, but there's yeah, definitely a few things you can do in there if you're wanting to keybind anything and then in the advanced tab I changed general the process priority so this is going to set a priority for this particular program um, for your computer where it processes it so most things are set to normal putting it above normal means that this is going to have a, pr a higher process priority so it's going to process this faster than it would process something like a Google search and it's going to dedicate a bit more RAM towards that as well um, the these settings here for video I didn't really change them but I know you can change between 79 and 601 depending on what sort of color you prefer in your video output and then recording so just a file name formatting um, you can see the different types of formatting you can do I just left it as the default I find it's fine it's, you know, not too big of a deal there and yeah that's pretty much it so once you've set all those settings up uh, you've got your display capture set up if you are doing a webcam you can set that up as well then you're ready to record and essentially you just press the recording button start recording you'll see it's got a little red circle there and recording for however long you've been recording for the CPU usage and the FPS that you're getting once you finish recording you just press stop recording and then that's going to send this video to that file path that you set up another way to get to the file, pl file path is just click file and then show recordings so either way is going to work for you um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys so i hope you find that useful and you know maybe you're interested in doing some video tutorials or showing some gameplay or whatever uh, but whatever you use this tool for 
um, it is is definitely helped me in terms of learning uh, from my mistakes in WoW. So I hope uh, you get something out of this as well. I do have a bit of news. So I've finished up uh, some work that I've been doing. I was on a three month contract over my uni break. I'm just uh, finishing off my last year of my master's. Uh, and I was working some fly and fly out work at mine site for 54 hours a week. So I haven't been able to do as much uh, video recordings as well as being consistent with my streams. Um, but now that I've finished that up, um, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on that. So hopefully doing streams probably about four times a week now, um, maybe more, maybe slightly less, but yeah, around that each week. Uh, I'll continue doing my one video a week in YouTube and um, just trying to expand on the different topics that I cover as well, depending on what you guys are wanting to hear or learn from or whatever. Um, yeah, leave your suggestions. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to spend this year trying to go for it uh, in terms of making streaming and producing videos as a career like obviously I have something to fall back on because I am I'm doing a master's but I definitely enjoy uh, playing video games and uh, recording uh, you know tutorials or helping out you know the community so if you are interested in supporting me um, come over to the twitch um, that I've just started uh, follow along if you are interested in subscribing I'd really appreciate that and um, yeah, I do a little bit of coaching segments every so often on my Twitch streams for subscribers. And um, yeah, uh, the viewers have found it very beneficial so far. So if you are interested in that, yeah, just um, don't hesitate to come along. I've also set up a Discord community um, for anyone who's interested in trying to find like an arena partner or just wants to have a chat um, in a bit more of a private setting, you can come and join that. Um, and then I've also set up a Twitter as well. I've never used Twitter before, but I've, it's actually kind of funny. Like, you know, I uh, followed all the um, main sort of WoW streaming accounts. And um, yeah, it's, it's really good to just keep informed with the latest sort of WoW news, but also have a bit of a joke around and, and all that sort of stuff. So uh, that's pretty much where I'm at, guys. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more of my content, make sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.